guys it's lily welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel today i have a really exciting video today i'm going to be showing you guys my weekly spa routine prepping to get married i decided even before i was engaged that i wanted to set aside some time i try to do these things once a week just to rejuvenate myself prepare myself i just make hello i make it a priority to keep myself feeling good looking good and all that kind of stuff it is currently seven o'clock i am going to be doing my nails so my nails look really bad yeah my thumbs came off like two weeks ago and the nail polish the gel polish came off so i'm really excited about doing my nails i do poly gel so i did a video on how i do it a while ago so i will link that right here um so you can go check that video out on how i do that but yeah so it takes me about like an hour and a half two hours so yeah i'm just watching halloween town and uploading a video and yeah i will talk to you guys when i'm done doing my nails one eternity later okay guys so it is 9 35 it took me like three hours to do my nails and i didn't even finish them so i just did like the regular poly gel i didn't paint them yet because i had to do a few of them like i had to start over on a few of them and that takes a long time because you have to like put the form on the videos that you saw see on pinterest is not accurate you have to put the form on the nail and then you have to put more poly gel on and then put another layer on like it's not just one and done it takes a while i watched two movies one and a half so this is not going to be a very like fancy video i'm literally just going to be like vlogging and showing you my whoa my spa routine i am going to take a shower i have been working out and in the afternoon because i've been going to school in the morning and then i haven't been working at night recently but my schedule is changing and now i'm going to be working every single day after school wish me luck um oh, that's nice so i'm just going to take a shower i'm not going to wash my hair because i did that like two days ago i'm just going to wash my face with my dr bronner's soap and then i use my sephora makeup remover towel this is the best thing ever get one it works so much better than like just a regular makeup remover wipe so that is why i'm gonna do in the shower and i'm just gonna wash my body okay so i just got out of the shower my mirror is very foggy but this is all the things that i'll be using today it looks like a lot because i'm very extra usually like on my spa days or whatever i like shave my legs or whatever not necessarily on my spa days on the days that i wash my hair but i'm not shaving right now because in cosmetology we are learning to do hair removal and we're doing that this week and so i have to not shave my legs also i forgot to tell you that in the shower i did use my clarisonic whenever i do a spa day always start with exfoliating my skin we're gonna go into our next portion of skincare i am going to start by removing my blackheads okay so i don't have a tripod at the moment so you're gonna be looking at the bottom half of me so i have this kit i got it on amazon a while ago so it's jpnk and it's a professional like blackhead pimple popper kit i don't remember exactly what it's called be very very careful when you use these because you can damage your skin when i had acne i would use these to pop my pimples and it, that created a lot of problems so don't do that i am only using this for my blackheads because when i use a pore strip it doesn't really work that well i don't really get anything on the pore strip except like hair so i use this because this works very very well but you have to just be careful so it doesn't really matter i'm just going to take this one make sure after you use these you disinfect them that's very important i'm going to go ahead and wet my face with really warm water it's better if you have a steamer and you can steam your face or you can just like put some hot water in a bowl and put your face over the bowl right, so my face is wet. 
So you want to do that to open up your pores because steam, water, heat opens your pores up. But I'm just going to press my nose and I don't know if you can see this. Lots of blackheads. So I'm just going to press my nose. You gotta press pretty hard. Kind of, kind of hurt. So here's all the gross stuff that came out of my nose. All right, well, whatever. So yeah, that's the stuff that came out of my nose. So as you can see, this is like way more effective, at least for me, to remove like whiteheads and blackheads and stuff like that. And it's pretty satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so to clean that, all you do is just take all that stuff off and then get some rubbing alcohol. I don't have any over here and just clean that. Now that I did that, I am going to continue with the face and I'm going to do a face mask. I try to do a face mask at least once a week. Sometimes, you know, life just gets in the way, but I have lots and lots of face masks, but I feel like I always go back to this one just because it's kind of like really easy and it doesn't target a certain thing. Um, it's just anti-stress because I'm in school, I'm in work all the time, I have a very busy schedule, and I'm stressed throughout my day. So I just think that this works well, and it's really easy to put on. Um, it's not messy, and it's for all skin types. It's super, super, super affordable. So yeah, if I like am breaking out or something, I will put on like a clarifying face mask. If I just want like glowy skin, I'll put them on like a glowing face mask. You don't need to wet your face or anything for this. This is just a mud mask, so it just goes on really thick. I usually tend to just focus it on my T-zone and oily or blemished spots. So like definitely my chin area because I wear a mask every single day, all day. And then my T-zone and my nose. So because we cleared those blackheads, this mask will really be able to get into the pores and the nose and get all the impurities out. It's like a 10 minute face mask. I usually put it on for about 10 minutes. It gets hard and it actually kind of hurts once it's hardened. So I try to like keep it on for like the maximum of 10 minutes. While this is sitting on my face, the normal person would go and lay down and relax, but not me. While this is working, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up around the apartment. Also, forgot to tell you, I always put this lotion all over my body. This is the Target Up and Up brand Extra Radiance Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. I use, been using this lotion for so long and I love it so much. It smells so good and it's super cheap. It's like $2.50 at Target and it's the like knockoff of the Vaseline one. I just think that one's better. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit on my face. At night, what I've been doing recently, and by recently I mean for like the past three days, when I come home from work or before I go to bed or whatever, I'm usually like hungry or whatever, I want a snack. I made these pumpkin cookies, they're so good. They're not like super sweet, they're vegan, gluten-free, a lot good stuff. So I have one of these, and then I have a milk here. I've been having some digestive issues. I have a really bad stomach. I have IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. Like legit, the doctor told me I have it. So I have Miralax in here. So I'm a grandma, take Miralax, but it's fine. Can't taste it, it's dissolved. The reason I'm telling you this is because I have been trying to take these every single day. So I got these at Target. They're the hair, skin, and nails gummies with biotin and collagen. This helps your hair grow, your nails grow, and your skin glow. And I could never get into drinking collagen with my like coffee or whatever because it's expensive and I just forget. And I forget, oh, like I forget to take my birth control today. So I forget to take my medicine and vitamins just in general. I'm just a really forgetful person. I always look forward to my bedtime snack because then I can take these. And then I also take magnesium. And in the morning I take vitamin C and my allergy medicine. Okay, so I'm ready to take this mask off. As you can see, it's drying. Yeah, no, it's like uncomfortable when it's dry. I usually use like a washcloth to take this off, but I don't have a washcloth at the moment. Apparently I don't own a washcloth, so I'm just gonna have to take it off with hands and stuff, so. Alright, 
so here's my skin as you can see it looks a little red that's just because of the face mask really every face mask if it's a mud mask and it dries at least for me it makes my skin red but it's okay so now i'm going to do my eyebrows this is a must I have made a video on this a long time ago, like I think two years ago, three years ago, I don't even know how long, it's been so long, when I first started doing this. I love this so much. As you can see, this is from like, I think the last time I did it was a month ago, maybe longer. So my eyebrows are very light, but they're they are lighter than this. This is still with a little bit of dye on my eyebrows. This is just a must because I hate when my eyebrows aren't darkened because then I have to try to find them when I'm filling them in. When they're dyed, I don't have to fill them in, so it's just great. So if you have not seen that video, um, you can go check that video out. I'll leave it right here for you. I'll just explain it a little bit. So first what you're going to do is you're going to take an eyebrow spoolie and you're just going to spoolie your eyebrows. You're going to pluck them. So I have this amazing eyebrow plucker here so tip if you want a less painful plucking experience pluck in the direction that the hair is grown because as i learned in cosmetology school it's a lot less painful so i get a lot of hairs this isn't even a half of what i usually get then i'm going to take my eyebrow razor and i'm just going to get the hairs in between my Eyebrows. All right, next is a very important step. So I'm going to take these. This is my manicure set. We got our, I don't even know, manicure scissors. I'm just going to brush my eyebrow hairs up and then I'm gonna take these scissors and I'm going to cut the long hairs. So this is really gonna give them a nice shape. So now for the fun part. The first step that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your eyebrows like the shape that you want and then you're going to take your vaseline so here we have my vaseline and a q-tip and this is really really important do not skip this step so you're going to outline your eyebrows in vaseline and this is why i didn't want to tone or cleanse my skin yet because i'm going to be putting a bunch of vaseline on my face this is my just for men mustache and beard in the shade light medium brown this is my favorite shade this is the only shade i've used but it's perfect for my eyebrows second one it lasts forever so i'm just going to take a little bit of the color base this is the dark one and just put a little line there so as you can see didn't put that much depends on how thick your eyebrows are though and then this is the color developer and just put the same amount so then you're going to just swirl that around, make sure that is nice and mixed. All right, this is what I do. So first I go in and I just sloppily put this all over my eyebrows. Don't be scared because you have Vaseline on your eyebrows. So if you get it on your skin, it's not the end of the world. And as you can see, I am doing this very messily. I'm gonna take another Q-tip and I'm literally just gonna get product out of the brush. So this is gonna give you a lot more control and I'm just gonna go in and start defining that shape that I want. And then I usually like to go in first with the original Vaseline Q-tip and just clean up everything. If you get some on your skin, it's okay. It will stain your skin a little bit, but whatever. And then I'm just gonna go in and retouch up again. So to clean your stuff, all you want to do is take your brush and your little container here, run it under water, and just rinse it out. 
I go like this with the brush underwater to get all the dye out of the brush and it comes right out. And just use the brush kind of as your scrubber to clean out the little thing. And then once everything is all clean, you can literally just clean it off with your towel and put your products back in there. And it goes back in the box and you're ready for the next time. So I keep this on for five minutes. Um, sometimes I keep it on longer on accident, but in five minutes you'll see a difference. Boom. <laughs> yeah, so these are what my eyebrows look like after they're done and they need to be taken off. One time I told Jack that I like went into the room and I was like, I kept my eyebrows on too long and they were gonna be like this for a while. And he was like, are you serious? And then I was like, I'm just kidding. So now to take it off, you just need like two cotton rounds. And then take, of course, my Dr. Bronner soap. You can use anything. You can use this soap on literally everything. And then put a few drops on there and then take some warm water and just wet it and squeeze out the excess water and then you can take the other one and just wet it as well but with no soap on there with the soapy one i'm just going to do a streak across my eyebrow and i use one side for one eyebrow and the other side for the other making sure you kind of get like all the way around your eyebrow to get all that vaseline as well that is done and then with your just wetted one without anything on it just go over it and wash off that soap and see there's like none left on my cotton round now i feel complete my eyebrows are done we're almost done guys we're almost done i'm telling you this is a whole process i don't use this all the time but if I'm feeling fancy, I'll whip out my 4-in-1 micro needle facial roller. So it comes in this like sanitary plastic case. It comes with a medium roller, a small roller, and a large roller. Before I start on that, I'm going to cleanse my skin now since we are finished with the eyebrows. So my favorite, favorite, favorite cleansing water, micellar cleansing water from Garnier. And the amazing thing about it too is that it removes makeup, but not only does it remove makeup, but you don't have to cleanse your face afterwards. You don't have to do anything. It's a cleanser, a toner, uh, it literally gets everything off my skin. You're supposed to like put a serum on under this. So I have this Your Serum. I've partnered with your skincare before um and i just have their serum this is the nighttime serum i'm just going to put it on the areas that i'm going to micro needle so your face is probably going to be pretty red after tonight just because of all the things that you put on your skin you've done the i i don't know why i'm saying you i've exfoliated my face i've put a mask on my face and now I'm micro needling my face. So needling, I don't know everything about it, but basically it just promotes softer, smoother skin on the face, neck, and body. It encourages collagen, collagen production for younger looking skin. It helps firm and brighten the skin. It just makes it more youthful, glowy. So I usually just use the middle size. And all I do, and it's a little uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie, but you're making little holes in your skin and it's creating your collagen to rise up. You're circulating the blood in your face, which is producing plumpness in the skin. I'm just going in vertical and horizontal. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the small one, which is for like under eyes and lips. So this small one, I'm going to roll over my lips. You wanna sanitize this, so if you just put rubbing alcohol in these little divots right here and just let them sit 
in rubbing alcohol that will clean them. And so now I'm going to put on my nighttime skincare. I'm gonna actually do a whole video on skincare. This is by Claire Sonic. This is the Opal Sonic Infusion System. My grandma actually gave this to me. She bought it for herself, but didn't end up using it. It infuses serum for more effectively than minimal application for younger looking eyes. So you just charge it. Basically, here is the serum, and then here is the actual thing. That's what it sounds like. So especially for, you know, getting ready for my wedding, I want my under eyes to not look like I'm a zombie because I have very, very dark under eyes. Anything that I can do to prevent that is great. So here is the eye serum. Squirt this serum and I just put it under my eyes like this. My eyes get very dry and they're very sensitive. So this is great for my eyes to really rejuvenate them. And then you just press this button and you just go all around your eyes oh it feels so good and this really just again brings blood circulation to the eye rejuvenates the eye and so then once it stops go on the other eye and there you go and then when you're done you just put it back in your cute little case and you don't need to charge it that often but that's just really awesome if you have really dark under circles puffy under eyes apply my Curology and all that stuff, the micro needle and stuff like that. It opened up your skin, it created those holes in your skin. So this stuff will really seep into your skin now. Since I already did that with my eyes, I don't need to add this, but I usually use castor oil on my eyes for eye serum because I ran out of my other eye serum, but I realized castor oil is amazing. It's super nourishing and hydrating. Another great thing about castor oil is that it makes your eyelashes grow. I have very, very thin eyelashes. My eyelashes are short, but ever since using castor oil, they have grown tremendously. And then I use the spoolie to comb it out and distribute it all over. I'm gonna go ahead and floss. And now for the final step of my spa routine is whitening the teeth because I'm gonna be taking lots and lots of pictures in these next couple months. I need my teeth to be white and they are not white. They are yellow as yellow can get. If you haven't seen this, this is a very well-known hack, especially on Pinterest. Um, you use one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide, and then you use a half teaspoon of water and then a little bit of toothpaste. So I use the Hello Activated Charcoal Toothpaste. I'm gonna put it in this little container because you're supposed to use it once a week and then after you get to the desired results, do once a month. So one teaspoon of baking soda into this little container. One teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide here. And then half a teaspoon of water. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that together. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my toothbrush wet it a little bit and dip it into this mixture. Then I'm just gonna brush my teeth, just regularly. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a little like long-winded, but beauty is time and pain and money. <laughs> just kidding. You are all beautiful without doing this. You don't need to do this, but yeah. As you can see my lips, like that microblading or micro needling, they're like swollen and anyway, I'm super tired. So I'm gonna go to bed, but make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Make sure to like this video. Follow me on my Instagram at lily underscore bear with three R's. I post on there pretty much every single day. I'm talking with you guys and on my story doing stuff and my camera's about to die. So yeah, I'll see you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.